welcome back to calypso moon welcome in if you're new sagittarius we're doing your reading and i'm setting everything on fire <sighs> I had, um, yeah, the sage. I had the, I had, I had an emergency. Let's just say that, <laughs> which is why things look a little tiny bit different. I don't have my candle, my crystals, my sea crystals. I just have my sage because that is so necessary right now. Y'all don't even know, like. <laughs> oh, I, I got some major downloads in this last little bit of energy that hit us at the end of the year and probably some of it still trickling into this part of the early year uh, the new year by the way happy new year to everyone even though a lot of you don't think the new year starts until march but springtime which is when renewals happen we're still in the heart of winter right now so Either way, happy 2022, and I'm glad you guys made it. I do have a little bit of an announcement um, about the way that I'm going to be reading tarot due to these new insights that I've gained. Um, if you guys seen my video, one of my first videos I posted for the channel, it was explaining my gifts and you know how I'm just now starting to work with them publicly and officially. You know, this, this is something that I've always had, but tarot is like a conduit for it it's like a tool to use to help get familiar with it um what's mine what's spirit so it's a journey it's not just I, I wasn't that fortunate to be able to just have it all and have all the answers right then it's like because I suppressed it so long too I feel like I'm having to relearn so you guys bear with me on that journey anyway that's just what I wanted to say that I am going to start taking reversals when but not when they fly out sorry I still can't do it then but you guys will see me start to incorporate uh reversals more in my spread and it definitely won't be for the oracle cards either I won't be taking any reversals for oracle cards unless it's like right dead a dead on feeling and I don't know but anyway Sagittarius I want to get into your January reads oh yeah one more thing <laughs> I am going to be doing um I, for per request per request I will be doing um a love a specific love read um during the month so I'll do an overall general monthly review and that could feature love or just life maybe a whole different lots of things just depends on the messages that come out but it's general and it's for the overview of the month but I'm each week I'm going to be doing a specified reading too like I'll do one week for your love one week maybe for career finances and then a bonus week of something fun something unusual and I'll be showing you guys how I'm going to be doing those spreads too but for now, let's get into your overview, your monthly overview for January 2022. Me talks and Skybridge. I was supposed to, supposed, I was supposed to only take one of these, but uh, Caterpillar at the bottom of the deck. And then we're going to do an elemental card. And this is the overall energy for January Spirit Guides, Benevolent Ancestors, Universal Energies, allow me to observe, not absorb. I am eternally grateful for your guidance. <laughs> Voice. Okay. So these are the messages for you, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, for the overall month. I mean, you guys got to bear with me. Y'all don't even know what I've been going through. And 
it's so crazy because I, I had to tell one of my subscribers like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Because they said they noticed that my energy was down. And I'm like, no, I'm good. But I, I really do think I'm not good. Like as far as being spiritually, I don't even want to get into it. But there's a lot of shit going on spiritually. So with my growth i guess it comes that saying new level new devil but that's what i'm experiencing right now and i am being asked to protect myself a lot more than i'm doing but anyway enough about me <laughs> you have me tax sagittarius i just want y'all to know that if y'all notice a change me there is a lot of things going on right now and i do feel like it's um you know just some some other energies trying to stop my show. <laughs> but this is number 39, Me Talks. Repairing the body, mind, and spirit. And then you got Sky Bridge, possibilities for a union. So this is uh, you bridging the gap between something, you allowing, uh, and it's not that you're allowing, it's like you're connecting two different aspects together um you're like the i don't know how to say it <laughs> you're like the it just won't come out the bridge shit like you're bringing two different things together and because of you those things are coming together those things are connecting now okay at the end i'm gonna pull you guys to Two, um, oracle cards the angel answers and the starseed oracle for your advice i know y'all i'm trying bear with me bear with me bear with me all right spirit guides benevolent ancestors what do we have for sagittarius for the month of january 2021 we have the magician The Ten of Wands, Ten of Fire. What else? Three of Earth, Three of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Fire, Protection. Sagittarius Eight of Cups The Moon Okay That's the center of your spread This is The Star Okay Queen of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Last three spirit. The Hermit.
five of pentacles and the death card all right the devil in reverse at the bottom of the deck this is okay so the queen of swords in reverse at the bottom of this deck is telling me that somebody's definitely talking shit um <laughs> You know, saying hurtful things about somebody, not using their discernment, just being too quick on the draw is what I'm getting. Like, too quick to say something, too quick to believe something, too quick to think something about someone else here. And this could be you, Sag, or this could be someone you're dealing with. The devil in reverse is like... um definitely some type of manipulation coming towards you or you sending it out you could be internalizing these feelings but I'm feeling like okay yeah you might be feeling like somebody's putting spells on you or just is Somebody is protected here from somebody. That's just what I'm seeing from this, what's on the bottom of these decks over here. Mm. So you're, you, it's saying me talks, meaning that you need to um, do some type of cleanse or something to get negative energy away from you or off of you. Okay, somebody could have definitely been expecting or be expecting a union, a love romantic union with someone. But it's not being said. The world clarifying the magician. There's something that closed that someone's trying to manifest back. There was a relationship, a situation, something that it was its time to close. Um, somebody's still trying to move towards this and slowly trying to make space for this. But and I feel like manifesting it strongly here too with the magician. Someone doesn't want something to end here. So they're trying to use their gifts, the tools that they have, the tactics that they have to keep something from ending. Um, for a lot of you guys, I am getting this as some type of relationship or connection. Two of Wands. Something's very burdensome on you right now, Sagittarius. It's heavy. It's weighing heavily on you. You're trying to figure out which path to choose in a situation. I feel like it's, you know what you want, but maybe it's the other person that's not cooperating. We have the Eight of Wands here. Um, yeah. Somebody's sending out <laughs> vibes, uh, energy, trying to manifest this person back, manifest something back. Three of Earth is saying that there's some type of connection, some type of collaboration that something... Ace of Wands, yeah, somebody wants a new opportunity to work with someone, collaborate with someone, or just come together with someone. We got the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's what I'm telling you, Sag. Something is out of order. This is definitely love. Somebody walked away here in a love situation. You want them to come back, or they want you to come back. Somebody could be spying, watching someone's social media here. Secretly, of course, with the moon being here. Somebody's definitely possibly using the law of attraction or magic, whichever one you guys want to call it, um, to manifest someone back in their life. They want a new beginning. Um, Queen of Swords in reverse here too. Oh, somebody's not speaking something. Somebody's possibly not speaking their truth, which is why this voice card is here. So it's like, Sag, either you're wanting somebody and it's like a secret. You don't know how to tell them that you want a new beginning with them. You don't know how to say it, but you don't know how to get this person to come back. Or 
somebody's thinking this about you someone sees someone as their star their wish fulfilled um somebody that can help heal them someone they can grow with we got the king of cups clarifying the star yeah this person is very loving giving their energy is nurturing healing um and somebody sees their future with this person like this is what this is everything they wanted but it looks like somebody walked away here somebody's on their own or out in the cold this could be you Sagittarius feeling like you're on your own you're trying to figure out what you can do within yourself to manifest this back or they're trying to figure out you know why you left them out in the cold or why you know somebody's feeling abandoned here basically ace of swords in reverse there's some type of truth that someone's not willing to see here maybe because their feelings are so strong Someone the hermit knight of swords but somebody's still trying to make this happen like they want to be the knight in shining armor strength in reverse page of swords still watching king of wands this person could be very attractive or you could be very attractive. You would know because people tell you all the time or you have a lot of people trying to get with you and whatever. But you're attracting a lot of people. <clears throat> wow. So right away, what I got from these two cards, Sagittarius, is that somebody um messed with someone's fate someone's destiny here i don't think you can mess with somebody's destiny but somebody tried to mess with someone's fate how you arrive at your destiny um they because they walked away because they left you out in the cold or you left them out in the cold somebody's trying to deter somebody's fate Somebody could even be wishing death on somebody. That's fucking crazy. Eight of swords in reverse, but something's wearing off. Like some type of, I just heard juju. I don't know. I don't call it juju, <laughs> but that's what just came out. Somebody's juju is not working anymore. Six of pentacles in reverse with the death card. Um, Damn. The lovers in reverse. Because somebody didn't want someone as a lover here, they're sending them bad, bad vibes and trying to deter their destiny here. With the devil in reverse, the queen of swords in reverse, and the seven of fire here. So if this, if you feel like things are going awry for you, Sagittarius, I would say uh, please protect yourself. Get you some sage. Get you some crystals. Uh, pray. Pray to whoever you pray to, your deity, your God, the universe, whoever, because, yeah. And Sagittarius, if this is you doing this to someone else, uh, please overt. That's, um, like, if you're feeling yourself having these thoughts or these energetic thoughts, thought patterns and waves that you are wishing bad on somebody else even if you're not putting any of the extra um craft into it which we do have the magician here we do have the devil here in reverse which could which could signify a little bit that this is coming from coming from you and going out to someone else devil in the upright is like asking you to come or it's an external I feel like but that's just how I'm reading the reversals and some for some of the cards so you guys just bear with me I'm going by my feelings here yeah somebody definitely wants a new opportunity but they're not speaking it someone's trying to bring something together what is the advice spirit don't stop <laughs> Or don't stop <laughs> compromise perfect timing 
if you believe. Okay. Someone thinks they're a counterpart to somebody here. We have perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out, common ground. That's that compromise. See where your place is in the world. Oh, we got four. Oh my goodness. Earthed. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Fall into my arms. Surrender. Holding the opposites. Extremes of life. Yeah, somebody's definitely going through some shit here or trying to make somebody else go through something. Will and Orca, El Orca elders, share your song, frequency sound, deep dive. So yeah, if somebody's feeling somebody, they need to just come out and say it. So instead of sending this energy or whatever they're doing, water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. So yeah, somebody definitely is in need of taking care of themselves, especially if you're getting negative energy or sending out negative energy to others. Something is definitely not going to be victorious in the uh, union here because <laughs> ooh, it's just I just feel like whatever this is is not meant to be. And, you know, trying to manifest it back or doing magic, trying to get it back is not going to work. But they said, if you believe compromise. Well, that's what I have for you guys, Sagittarius. I wish you guys the best. If you vibe in, make sure you subscribe in. Make sure you like. That helps this video so much. You guys don't even know. And I am grateful for you guys watching. Until next time.